Hello, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously you train here in Florida, so I guess what's it like, Ben, you know, having a fight so close to your home camp in ATT? Feeling great. First time I, I, f I will fight, like, close to my gym. Yesterday I come here, like, 30 minutes, and travel was done. Acclimati acclimatization is done. Super happy that I can fight here because a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends from gym will come and will cheer me. When they came to you with Rafael Dos Anjos, were you surprised that that was the name considering, you know, he had fought at welterweight, he didn't seem too interested in coming back to lightweight. You're a, a guy that's still on the rise. He's been here for a long time. So was Rafael, was it su surprising when they offered you RDA? Not surprised. I was excited when I got offered with former champ, uh, Rafael Dos Anjos. Uh, I am grateful UFC that give me this opportunity because this is great time for me. If I want to be number one in the lightweight division, I need to beat a guy like Rafael Dos Anjos. I need to beat former champ. So I am super excited this fight, and this is my time. I am ready. And we've seen the photos of you and Dustin training together and preparing for this. So what was it like having a guy like him, you know, peaking at the same time, preparing for a fight later on in the card with you? This was a great time. I, uh, we did together full camp. We sparred together five weeks. Uh, we did almost like 15, 15 runs together. So every, every training with Dustin was a big lesson to me uh, because he's really experienced guys from UFC, a special person. Uh, so, yeah, I am happy that I train with him because, like I say, my confidence is grow up right now. And the last time we saw you on the scale, it was weighing in as a backup in Abu Dhabi, but then, you know, Charles got hurt. And then Alex ended up filling in. Were you ever contacted that you would be the one that would fill in and not Alex against Islam back in October? Uh, in Poland, this, this moment was night. And when I wake up, everything was done <laughs> about this. Uh, but the, the show was Abu Dhabi. Maybe you, UFC needs something uh, different person. This was like three weeks before show. So, so uh, maybe that's why UFC take uh, Alexander Vol Volkanovsky. But... After this, in the fight week, I was still back up. This was good, good time for me because I, I was really close around the belt and I make uh, 155 pounds. So I feel what is it, then i looking forward to the, 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 the will did together in the future. And what do you make of the lightweight title picture now? Because, you know, Charles is fighting Armin. Um, we have the BMF fight between Justin and Max. You're fighting RDA. Dustin is fighting another up-and-comer in Benoit. But Islam doesn't have an opponent yet. So uh, what do you make of this lightweight title picture right now? Uh, lightweight division is mad. <laughs> every, every fighter from top 10 thinks the, he deserves to, to fight. We'll see. In, in, in my position, I think I need maybe one big fight, and then I will be next. Uh, in the very, inter very interesting is in in future like you say uh Oliveira uh Arman Gaethje Max and we will see what's happening in the future and then we we can say some things and the last one for me uh can I ask you your opinion on the main event between Sean and Cheeto I think Cheeto will win he will beat uh Sugar okay so over here speaking of Armin um since you beat him um a couple of summers ago, he's been on a tear. I mean, he knocked out Darius, and now he's about to fight Oliveira for the title eliminator. So what are, your, what are your thoughts on his run ever since he faced you? When I, when I meet him in the, in the yeah, gym? Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on what he's done after that fight against you? Uh, one more question, because... Oh, what are your thoughts on what he's done after you beat him? Uh, but when I beat uh, Erde or... or Sarukian. Sarukian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I beat Sarukian, I have offered with uh, Darius, and this was my big change. If uh, if I passed him, then I maybe uh, fight in the title. But uh, I missed my change, and then next uh, opportunity have Arman. Then he beat Darius. But in my opinion, this was lucky punch. The next fight, if he will fight with Darius, the fight will be a lot different. Uh, we'll see how we how we'll see the fight with. Uh, uh, Charles Oliveira, but I think he submit him.
Last time we spoke to you at a media day ahead of your fight against Fiziev, you were fresh off uh, doing LASIK surgery for your eyes. So I kind of want to ask you, how is that now? How, how are you doing with that now? And how is it as a fighter? How's the transition like, you know? This was a great idea. I did surgery one year ago, and this changed my life, you know, <laughs> because I don't need the uh, glasses, and, and I see everything in the, in the life, in the during, in the training. So great ideas. How hard was it to fight, like, with, when you had glasses and you had to take them off for a fight? Um, not much better is right now, you know. Uh, I don't. When I have glasses, when I took uh, take out, so I I didn't see it good, uh, very good. But right now, when I wake up or go to training, then I see like one one hundred percent. Josh, right here. Um, you know, we just kind of touched on it. The lightweight division is kind of uh, kind of wild right now. A lot of big fights coming up, the title eliminator. So does that motivate you to go out and try and make a statement this Saturday? Yeah, of course. Like, my last fight with Fiziev was a uh, bad situation, you, you know, because it was injury. Uh, I, I, I wish quick recovery to Fiziev. But right now, I want to I wanna show my best skills. I accept that... Uh, RDA will be attack me, to, so there's gonna be a lot of action, a lot of scramble in the ground. Uh, I think this fight can be similar, like fight uh, versus uh, Tsarukian, uh, and, and I am happy that I can fight with like former champ, tough opponent, uh, uh, big test behind me, but I am ready. Like you said, RDA is a former champ, and there's been a lot of great lightweight champs, obviously BJ Penn, Frankie Edgar, Khabib, so on and so forth. I mean, where do you rank RDA as a champ in the division? Right, I think he's good place, right? He's tough, right? Uh, many, many years he's in, in, the, in the ranking. Uh, in, it's, it's hard to say wh where he can be because, like, every fighter from uh, top... 10, top 15 is similar, similar style, you know. Thank you. Uh, does Joanna Jonjacek, your teammate, uh, come back? I know that she's been training at American Top Team. Uh, do you think she comes out for retirement? I don't know. She, uh, this is the decision, decision to Joanna, but I don't think so. She, she is a great person. She did everything in, uh, in, in the sport. And in my opinion, she need to enjoy in his uh, life right now. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask you guys something uh, for Polish fans. Mateusz, przede wszystkim przesyłam z Polski. Wielkie słowa wsparcia. Cała Polska trzyma za ciebie kciuki. Chciałem zapytać, bo to są twoje słowa. Zmiany są dobre, zmiany prowadzą do dobrych rzeczy. A co zmienił Mateusz Gamrot w tych przygotowaniach? I need to say po Polish or in Yeah, you can say in Polish. <laughs> Dziękuję bardzo wszystkim fanom za wsparcie, że jesteście ze mną i wspieracie mnie w moich przygotowaniach. E, bardzo mocno to odczuwam. Co zmieniłem? Zawsze bardzo ciężko trenuję, ale z każdym rokiem mam coraz większą świadomość i jestem bardziej doświadczonym zawodnikiem. E, ten kam był naprawdę jeden z cięższych w moich przygotowaniach. E, Poprawiłem swoje błędy, mam coraz większą pewność siebie w stójce, mam bardziej stabilną pozycję, cięższe ciosy e, i jestem gotowy na każdą ewentualność z dostaniosem. To też twoje słowa. Nie wiem, czy ta walka nie będzie przełomowa. Co miałeś na myśli? Miałem na myśli bardziej ochoczy wymiany w stójce, bardziej ochoczą walkę w, właśnie w, na nogach. Spodziewam się wszystkiego, że będę, będzie dużo zapasów, będzie dużo parterów, ale też nie będę się bał wymieniać z nim ciosów w parterze. Tak jak starałem się powiedzieć po angielsku, e, dużą pewność siebie dała mi w e, sparingi z Dustinem Porierem. Tak teraz myślę, że będę mógł to pokazać i tą walką chcę udowodnić, że liczę się w groz, rozgrywce o pas mistrzowski. Ostatnie pytanie właśnie o Dustina. Według ciebie to może rzeczywiście być jego ostatnia walka w karierze? Wszystko w zależności jak się potoczy... E, jego walka w sobotę w nocy. Ja przewiduję tutaj knockout na, na zawodniku z Francji. E, decyzja należy do niego, więc nie chciałbym się tu wychylać z opinią. Bardzo dziękuję jeszcze raz na koniec od wszystkich kibiców w Polsce. Wszystkiego dobrego. Powodzenia. Bardzo dziękuję. Thank you.